Hi everyone, we are going to play today with brochures. Finally, I have brochures. Uh, thanks for Sally for thinking of me and having the patience of a saint because Amazon had made her life difficult. Uh, I couldn't order from Amazon brochures and she tried from the UK to send me and then she had to a order for herself and then go to the post office and send me just what can I say thank you Sally and I'm going to play with them today I've put I've made a hole in each uh, one and put a pin in because I know myself I can flip it over and it would be lovely what will happen if uh, the powder will spill now First rule of brushes, protect your surface. I put this hideous uh, towel underneath. And for those of you who don't have brushes, the only thing that I found, not exactly the same, a little bit similar, and that's what I've used until now, if I wanted uh, something to that effect, is uh, the powder that you use to dye fabrics and I just put it in this kind of containers that I bought from the cheap store made a hole in them and used them now they are very very concentrated even more than the brushes and the results are not a uh, well not always consistent but even with brushes it doesn't always a uh, con it's not consistent and it just let go <laughs> this is the the thing for letting go so i'm not an expert i've uh, seen a few videos and i'm more uh, experimenting than anything else uh, the other thing that you need is a spray bottle and you need it to be more a mist than anything else and if you have asthma then protect yourself with a mask so you don't get the powder in your respiratory system so i'm going to spray the the whole page i'm using a watercolor paper you can already see that some a uh, powder got here and it's probably from this It gets everywhere like glitter so be careful with it so now we are just going to go wild with it and where whatever goes goes so this is just spreading it around and let it do its thing Now you can also uh, spray it again and activate it. You can also use the brushes with, just put them in a spray bottle with water and you will have lovely sprays. Okay, so this is the green, but as you can see, the powder give that goes out looks yellow it's part of the pigment and you will have all kinds it doesn't matter if you take blue you will have all kinds of particles and inside now if you like this leave it as is if you want it to spread more take your bottle and just spray and Now it's up to you how much you want to activate. Everything. So I can leave it be. I can add more color. I can do all kinds of things. Let's put some yellow. This is really letting go whatever goes goes now i'm going to do some a uh, 
some pages and hopefully I'm going to make something out of one of them in my next video. So now another thing that I forgot, I uh, usually put in a mat or a plastic bag underneath because this is still wet and I've got puddles of water and you want to continue to your next page. So it's better to have something like this that you can lift it straight otherwise it will travel. Now if you want that effect go for it and let uh, all these puddles and color travel on your page. But I want to leave it as is so just moving it aside and we are going for the next uh, technique with brushels. Let's put another plastic bag underneath. Here we go. Another watercolor paper. And let's see. Again, water on the page. I'm going to use this just so you can see uh, how it reacts. This is the uh, textile dye powder. So for those who can't get brushels, there is another uh, way to go about it. Okay. Now you can do a lot of powder, less powder. This is really just having fun with it and experimenting. Uh, you can put the powder first and then spray it, but sometimes when you get to spray it, it just like litter start to uh, fly around and I don't like it. That's why I prefer to first have water on my page and then put the powder and add water as much as I want to activate. So here we go and I, I'm going to let this dry and later on I or maybe when it's wet I don't know no, I'm going to let this dry and then I want to try the, to put some bleach on it. Now I have a spray bottle that I've prepared in advance with one third bleach, two thirds uh, water. And that's what I want to try on this page. But I think it's better if I will just let it uh, dry first. So moving this aside, now I want to try, I've prepared in advance some pages. I've got here a one, this one is with crayons, Crayola crayons. This one is with glitter glue. I prepared in advance so I won't have to wait for all this to dry. This is a oil pastel. I just want to see if it will give me a nice resist. I've watched several videos and most of them done a resist either with a modeling paste or with the bleach. So I wanted to try and see how uh, this goes. So this one is with gesso. I just took I hope you can see this all kinds of circles I've put here. Just took all kinds of uh, bottle lids and all kinds of stuff and um, put it in the gesso and then uh, stamped it on my page. Let's hope I will get something nice. So once again I'm putting down water. And let's see. Mm, 
what color do I want? I don't know. Just plain. Okay. And definitely needs more water so now I'm starting to activate the powder the more water I have the less burst of color I have and it would if I will drench it with water it would look like more like spraying than the brochures doing its uh, thing okay I like it needs more I really hope that I will get a nice resist once it's dry but if not then not so I, I didn't try the brochures with modeling paste I didn't uh, want to go for a texture on my page so that's why I tr I'm trying all this uh, other <laughs> resist technique okay and once again I forgot to put a plastic bag underneath okay let's see Here is another one. I'm gonna try and lift it gently. Okay. Moving this aside. <laughs> Moving on. Now this is the oil pastel, just yellow one that I've used here. Maybe if I will use this one, it, I really need more water. Okay, seems like I drenched <laughs> the page. Okay, next. think I the hole is not big enough let's take a pocket tool and help it okay I think this is going to be really interesting this page okay more water I'm just trying to be gentle I still want the burst effect but I want it to go everywhere <laughs> Okay, plastic bag, another one, do I have another plastic bag, I don't know, let's see, maybe I do, no, this one are small, never mind, I'll lift it as is, maybe, let's make it travel on the page okay one more 
Now I've got the glitter glue. I'm very generous with the powder. I really want um, lots of color. I want it vibrant and I'm really having fun with it. Look how it goes. Wow. So glitter glue or maybe just regular glue would just be perfect for this. I'm already thinking of doing more pages with this swirly thing. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Activating. Now each time I'm putting more water, I'm kind of afraid that it will uh, lose the resist. I don't know. We'll have to uh, wait and see. Okay. Once again. Oh, here I've got too much. I'm going to lift it and I'm also going to let this travel a little bit and here we go whoops <laughs> too much is going on here not enough room never enough room okay last one the uh, Crayola crayons let's see if they will give us a resist and let's see let's go with this okay mm. it's green but the <laughs> powder is yellow Next, I really need more water here. I thought I've put enough, but seems not. Okay, once again. Lots and lots of water okay I'm gonna let it travel a little bit and we'll see what happens when it's dry so all this needs to dry and then i'll come back okay i'm back so uh, last experiment the bleach and this is a little bit still dumb but i'm going for it i've got this that well, it's look like a stencil. It's not a stencil. I bought it at the cheap store. It's supposed to be something to decorate your wall. I don't know who will put something like that on the wall, but I didn't care. I just was happy to have this because it is, it looks like a stencil. It works like a stencil. It's a stencil. So I'm just putting it like this and as I said, uh, one third bleach, the two thirds uh, water, and let's see what it will get me. I've seen it done in videos, 
seems to work. We'll see what happens here. Maybe, maybe I should have done it on a wet or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, right now I don't see anything. I'm going to leave it be. And while this is, I hope it will work. I'm going to show you the other pages we've done. So again, this is still damp. This one is with the glitter glue and in several places you can see the glitter. It wasn't a very great glitter glue, but it uh, served its purpose. And I really like all this swirly thing that is going on. So that's one. I think this one was the first and where I just uh, dumped all kinds of uh, the powder in several places as you can see there is still powder i can still activate it uh, but the more water the less uh, bursts of color that you will see it will just blend and you'll get the same thing you get when you use your sprays so i'm leaving it be i really like it next this turned out so well i'm in love with this uh, page with this paper with just yellow uh, <laughs> oil pastel and i did it just by freehand all these uh, branches with leaves and i really like it so this one worked let's see next this one is a uh, with the crayons crayola crayons and it worked so you can do resist with crayons you can do it with the oil pastels and it's great because you can just uh, do all kinds of stuff with all kinds of colors i really like it moving on here is the gesso resist so also worked so you have lots of options to play with it and of course it doesn't look white but you still see it so you get a pattern and you get a resist on your page so one more while I was uh, waiting for everything to dry I took a, a page uh, a paper and stenciled with gesso and it took a lot of time and then I dumped again a turquoise and a brown and orange but I've used a lot of water so as you can see it's mostly blended and only in several places there is still uh, the powder and so here is another effect that, uh, that you can get like sprays and I've done another one, just dumping the, the brusho powder, here it is, and I kept adding and adding, so as you can see this one is more um, intense than the other ones, so you can, if you don't like what you have, if it's uh, too light, too, um, you have too much white space and you hate it, just add more and activate it so you can work it until you're satisfied with what you want okay so moving this aside i'm not seeing any effect of the bleach i'm sorry to say maybe bleach here is not the same thing as abroad but it didn't do anything so i'm gonna uh, leave it be I don't like bleach <laughs> very much, so I can really say that I don't care that it didn't work. Okay, so that was the last one, and thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video, where I'm going to use one of this to make an original page. Bye for now.